guys, Joe here from Xbox Games. Check it out. We got X Toys as Blaster Do It Yourself Transformation. Now, again, you know, X Toys sent us over this particular blaster for our unbiased review, and we've we've been using it for probably I don't know about a month, about six weeks or so. A lot of times when companies send us these things and want us to review, and we try to give you just what it you know what it's all about, not just a one time go out and shoot and then you're good. No, I put some serious rounds through this thing, um, and it actually went through a whole battery life cycle. Uh, and shot a lot, so that's why we're figuring, okay, we're going to do it now. Just going to give you guys an idea. If you ever see this on the shelves or Amazon, then you guys kinda, you got an idea of if it is actually worth your money. So first things first, let's take an actual look at the, the look at the box here. So you can see the back and the front of the box, and you're like, wow, okay, it's kind of compact. It's a lot smaller of a box than typically what you're used to of something of this stature. You can see also on the bottom there, yeah, you can get a ton of accessories for this. I know, I know what you guys are thinking, right? A ton of accessories, and yes, it is compatible, and I'll show you here in a second with other foam flinging uh, accessories and things like that. So there you go. Nothing too crazy when it comes to the box. Now, typically with these blasters, they'll come with the suction darts, if that's what you want to call them here, where you could shoot it at a piece of glass. Uh, I don't know, something that would suction the tip, you know, or the tip would suction onto. I don't recommend shooting at TVs and stuff like that. Always shoot at something that, you know, you <laughs> so for me, but you could see it right here. I shot at my uh, one of my old X shot things, and I just shot it, and these things all stuck. I didn't miss. I shot the thing like 30 times, and every single one stuck. And that thing was kind of glazed, right? It wasn't like too bad. So, for the most part, yeah, they work great. And if you shoot this like in a mirror or something like that, yeah, they sh they stuck phenomenally well in comparison to the kind of the wet cardboard I have there. Now, I ended up shooting instead of these. I ended up shooting. Uh, some other kind of higher end darts you do notice an FPS increase when you do shoot these so I'm just gonna throw this up here I got about 70 ish when I shot the um, the suction darts right okay yeah okay <laughs> but when I jumped my game up to some of the adventure pro stuff perfect I was getting about 75 so a little bit quicker and they were all consistent right it was 75 74 75 76 75 and then with the suction darts I was still getting around 70, 71, 69, 70, 71, somewhere right in there. So there was an increase, and I, I assume it is due to the increased head size on here where those flywheels really have something more to grab onto. So let's take a quick look at the actual blaster also itself. I mean, it looks good, right? I mean, very, again, very similar to similar, similar foam flinging blasters that you've seen, and it does have that buttstock, which is kind of nice. You can kind of remove it and not remove it, but it looks good. I mean, you know, the plastic on it, it... It feels different, again, than other blasters that I've kind of done. Again, when we did the other X-Toys blaster, the feel of it, like, it just feels like the, maybe the plastic was a little bit thicker than uh, similar blasters kind of in this range. Um, now, this does hold 10 rounds right up here up front, so that cylinder is kind of nice. Non-removable, just sticks right in there. But 10 rounds is, hey, it's better than having a 10-round clip, right? You know me, I would much rather have a, uh, a drum magazine in there, though. But the grip, too, not too bad. It feels good. In my adult hands, it actually fits really, really good, which is kind of weird. Usually, it's either too big, too small. But in this case, it actually fits my hand very, very well. Now, this is a flywheel blaster. So it does use batteries. uses four A's. I was hoping this was going to use six double A's, right, or a battery pack. X-Toys, if you guys are listening, you, you definitely got to jump up to the 9.6 volts. Six double A's or a battery pack then you guys would be kind of at the front runner of foam flinging blasters. 71 is good shooting, but a lot of people end up modding these particular things and trying to get that 9.6 volt so you can get 33% more, get up to that 90 FPS, or use those little, um, those little lithium ion little battery packs to throw them in there, those rechargeable ones. Man, I, I think that would be a super hit because you're getting the performance of FPS, and again, you're getting these rechargeable battery packs, so I don't have to keep buying double A's. So I'm just throwing that two cents out there. Now, this has a whole plethora of uh, tactical rails. So you guys can see it here. I mean, there is literally two, four. There is six tactical rails on this thing. I ended up not using it because I like using it as a small uh, SMG. But still, it's six tactical rails. Now, yes, the front does accept other foam flinging type fronts, right? So check that out. <laughs> we got the green back there. And I know, I know, yes, you can put, again, other accessories on the back, other your popular ones. I really like this one because it's adjustable. But look at that. Woo! 
in the 10 shots on here, again, I really like that. It's 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 kind of nice. And being able to swap with your other uh, accessories on the market <laughs> uh, is pretty nice, right? Because, again, everybody, some people might use it like this. But for me, I like to kind of change it up every once in a while. So here we go. Let's go Let's go jump right in again and, and watch me shooting this thing. So I have two different rounds that I'm doing here. Uh, I do have like a mixture where I'm shooting both the uh, suction darts as well as the uh, the dart zone stuff, which is really nice. And you can see, I mean, it's pretty accurate and shoots pretty fast for only being uh, or only using four double A's, six volts. Usually when I see that, I mean, you're shooting down in the 50s, 60s, and this thing spools quicker. I, I know I talked about that uh, on the other X Toys Blaster. How this when it when you pull the trigger or when you turn it on, it revs really quick comparison to some other blasters where it takes two, three, four, five seconds to fully rev up. These rev up really quick and rev up after you shoot a blaster, they rev right back up to the top. So you don't see a huge decrease in performance when you're shooting really, really quick. So it is something again to kind of think about that, yeah, this uh, this thing shoots really, really, or you could shoot really fast without a huge, you know, separation in FPS. Now, the only thing that really bugs me about this particular blaster is when you turn it on, it is on. So uh, you guys can hear me there. Well, every time I'm shooting, the, the motors are always revving and the on off is something you have to flip. You, you It's not a, there's no uh, rev trigger then shoot and there's no, it's not a dual where when you pull halfway back, it's revving and then it shoots. It's pretty much a turn it on, the, the you know, the motors are going and then you shoot. I'm, I'm typically not a huge fan of blasters like that because I like to really run up and kind of sneak and kind of hide. But with your motors consistently running, yeah, I just don't like that. And, you know, I need to be able to shoot at a moment's notice. I don't want to have to fumble around for the on-off switch and then shoot. I really want to be able to just pull the trigger and have it a double shot where it revs and then it goes or have a rev trigger for one of your fingers so you're ready to go when you guys are ready to shoot. Um, the second time I'm shooting, you guys can see again, it's it's I'm shooting the um, the suction darts, and yeah, every single one of them stuck right to that little thing there. And I'm about 20 to 25 feet away, so it's not too bad. So there you go, guys. You saw me shooting this thing. You know, again, not too bad performance for four double A's. Um, you know, improvements, I would make it so there is no on and off. It is a simple pull the trigger, half the trigger pull starts the uh, motors, a full trigger pull will shoot the darts or at least have a rev trigger. That would phenomenally change this blaster and kind of raise it to that next level and bump it up to 9.6 volts. If you bump this to 9.6 volts and had that dual stage trigger, this would be a winner. The, that is what everybody does to these type of blasters because it, when I'm coming around a corner, right? I, I don't want to have my finger on that on or off and be like, oh, I got I to gotta turn it and then wait for it to rev. I want to be able to just pull a trigger and just come out and I don't want to be hiding behind something and you could hear me, right? With that going. So, you know, that's my two cents on this is, yes, dual stage trigger and 9.6 volts and I think you would have a game winner. Game winner. This is still cool. Don't get me wrong. It is still cool. It's just I would end up having to mod this thing to bring it to the level that I would expect um, most blasters nowadays to be. A lot of blasters are coming out at 9.6 volts and they're shooting hard and they're great and they're huge hits. Um, this one is just coming right below the current level of blasters that are the competitive blasters that people really want right now. But still, cool little fun blaster, 10 rounds, not too bad. Let me know what you guys think. Leave it down in the comments. <laughs> Thanks again, Fox fans.